Hello guys, and, um, uh, welcome back to DSFR, a game number 18, Stars vs. Panthers. Sadly, let's get into it. Now the Stars will lose 4-3 in a shootout to the Florida Panthers. Um, the Stars are now 9-8-1, it's not looking too good. While the Panthers are 6-9-2, they got to win. That's definitely important for them to stay in the season. Um... Disappointment though. They played Tampa on Thursday and oh boy is that defense gonna get crushed. I cannot wait to see six goals for the Tampa Bay Lightning. That would be just amazing, wouldn't it? Cause oh boy is this defense not giving me any hope that they do anything at all. But let's actually get into the game, shall we? The four check was great, but who cares because Short took a penalty and then Hoover scores! Five minutes into the game. Ouch. Now I don't think it was necessarily anybody's fault. Of course, Short going to the box doesn't help anything. <sighs> it sucks when you have the one of the best four checks of all year. It looks like we have one of the best like few minutes of your of the season offensively, just to go take a penalty and then have it almost straight after get a goal for the Panthers. That is beautiful, isn't it? Now after that, Florida was making some great chances, but Lennon decided to get to, decided to be a good goalie. He has been good this season. He honestly has been decent. Um, in the games that he's played, and he, I gotta give him credit, he hasn't been letting in. He's been decent, and he's actually kind of not stealing games, but keeping us in it. That's not normal with Kari Lettinen, and that's something to get, be proud of. Now Ben with a great chance on the penalty kill, coming in on a 2-on-1, but then Luongo just stuns him on a great glove save. Luongo was amazing tonight. Like, I'm talking stealing the game quality right now. There were numerous chances where the start should have had goals on most other goaltenders, but Luongo decided to be channel its inner regular season Luongo from like 10 years ago and decided to be absolutely fantastic. He was great today, and he was the sole reason that the Panthers won today. Now the start to take a penalty. That's not pretty good. Now Huberto on the power plate just tips it in because he is alone in front. Lindell caught puck watching on that play. Definitely not a good penalty kill right there. The penalty kill wasn't impressive today. I've noticed something, is that the penalty kill was elite the first few games, first 10 games, but the last couple of games, it has been horrendous. They definitely need to switch a few things up, they can't go with what they have been going, because teams are exposing it now, and it's going to go down from here on if they keep if they keep letting in goals like that. The defense can't, can't keep puck watching, and they just can't afford plays like that. But who cares, because Radulov on a 2-on-1 makes it a fantastic pass to Ben who snipes it. Let's go, let's get back in this game, 2-1 the Panthers. Now, second on a breakaway, goes on and then takes the penalty, wasn't able to get the shot off, that penalty. Power play didn't come to be anything, but he didn't kind of get the shot off anyways, so I guess it's fine. I wish it would be a penalty shot though, I would have liked that. But, the power play, we didn't get anything on it, so it doesn't really matter. I just wish it was a penalty shot. Because believe it or not, Sagan has the ability to put the puck in the net. Man, Luongo. Just stop being good, would you? Elio, fantastic shot! Off the crossbar. Now, in the second and third period, the Stars were basically dominating puck possession. It was ridiculous, in the especially in the second period. They were absolutely dominating the Panthers. And the only reason why it wasn't even tied sooner, or even down, they weren't even down three, four, like five, three, five, six, seven goals, it was because of Luongo. Luongo was just stunned on his head, and he was fantastic. Except for this next play. Luongo goes in, in behind his net to play the puck. He is caught frozen. Radulov, like, just steals the puck away from him. And just makes a great pass to Ben, who snipes it once again at an empty net. 2-2 two, two stars. Let's go. We're tied. We're tied, but Remy only has other plans. Right off the face-off, a great pass right to Remielli, who backhands it. Luongo it somehow go goes off of him. That was a bad play by him. Um, one of the only bad plays by him really in this game. And that was just great play by Ellie. So now got in. That's I got some puck luck, and that's one of the first that's the second goal in the season. He's been decent. He finally gets rewarded. But I I'm, I enjoy that. Right after him again it starts to get some beef with with Roussel, who fights. McGinn was absolutely clobbering Roussel. Roussel just couldn't get any, any shots off. Shots off, but um, punches off. But man, McGinn dominated that that that, that fight. It ended up being a 4-on-4. Four four. 
Um, but that was just that was just a fun fight for a Panthers fan because McGinn dominated. Now we try to close this game out, but that doesn't end up working, does it? You give the Panthers another power play. They don't do anything of it, but right after Barkov just just tips it in. Right in front of a great pass by, I think it was Trocek, just right to Barkov. Who, who has an easy tip in? What are you doing, defense? That's Barkov. It's not like some scrub fourth liner. You just got to cover them. You just have a terrible... Terrible job, just a terrible job of, of just covering guys, especially the good ones. Last game it was Skinner, you just went wide open. I, it was an, it was just a, I, I don't know. I just can't. I just got, I just got right now. But that doesn't matter since we're heading to OT. Now Sevier had a fantastic dangle in a couple of minutes into this period. He had a, like a, he like kind of get, I don't know what he did. He went like behind his, behind his legs, skated out two defensemen, and almost shot it. He shot it wide, but almost got in. I almost honestly thought that was gonna go in, especially since he's a former star. That's just how it works. That's just how hockey works. But the OT was definitely um, suspenseful. There were lots of good chances. Nobody could really put it in, obviously. Uh, but man, that was a good over t overtime. That was really fun overtime. And honestly, the Panthers looked good. But of course, that doesn't matter since we're going to a shootout. And, of course, the Stars don't win it. Now, I treat shootout losses as basically ties because they're shootouts. They don't, they aren't really, uh, they aren't really representative of your team as a whole. They're just representative of your skill. You could say that's kind of just a win, but I don't really think that really counts. Um, I don't know. If, I like the shootout, but I, I, I don't know if it should really be counted. I, I don't know. I just... I don't, I just don't think they shoot up, of course, when the Stars lose. That's just, that's just how it works. But the good game goes to Luongo, who basically carried the Florida Panthers squad. And, of course, the penalty kill on the Stars just being horrendous also helped the Panthers. And, hey, you deserve the win, Panthers, and good job on you. But it's not going to get any better since we're going to face Tampa and we're going to allow 10 goals. That's just how it works. And even with Bishop in that, he's going to allow, I, okay, so... Bishop is probably going to be in that for the Tampa Bay Lightning game. He's either going to shut out the Lightning, or he's going to give up like five or five, five or six goals. One of those two outcomes, I don't see him being in the middle. I think I think you'll get. I won't, I'm not, I won't say it. I won't say it. But you know what I'm thinking. You know what I'm thinking. I, I have faith in Bishop, and I, I think you know what I'm thinking. But that's going to be it for today, guys. You guys, enjoy. Make sure to like. You guys, really enjoy. Make sure to subscribe. I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.